Welcome everyone to DMC Boston. I'm really excited to share what we've been building with here with you. So the past four years, my mentors and I, and my mentees as we started growing, have really helped and make this dream come true. This is something that we've always wanted to build here. A place where engineers can be gathered together and live in relative calm. And actually, this is, this is really the culmination of our work. Now it's never over, but right now, I'm really excited to present TMC Boston to you. This is where we have the finest engineers on the East Coast gathered. And let me just introduce you to some of them today. Come and take a look with me. All right, so here we are at the watering hole where all of our engineers come to feed. Now this is a really exciting place because this is really where the action happens. Here's Bill, he's my favorite specimen here. Really prime, like right in his age. Look at the size of him. Now that's a really impressive engineer right here. Let's see if we can get his attention. All right, steady now. Steady. Oh! Son of a gun. All right, it's all right, it's all right. I'm fine. 911, what's the nature of your emergency? Uh, all right, it's all right, I'm fine. It's, it's uh, just a little bit of a peck, really. Uh, it's, the engineers are really generally rather defenseless, and this is their only way of protecting themselves. Hopefully, yeah, he's already starting to get excited by the idea of seltzer. Watch, just like, oh, it's a bit of a gush. Uh, just as he gets that seltzer, immediately goes into fighting mode. And you can see that this is just something else. This is really the wonder of working with engineers, where it's really exciting. And I, we get to see this all the time, and I'm just so glad that we get to share this with you. One of the most important and exciting activities here at DMC Boston is cleaning out the cages. It's really dangerous, especially because some of the older ones are extremely territorial. He won't find any space or anything else. Oh, 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 watch out! So, and oh no, he, see, he, he's really, really into this. Might just be lucky if the golf club gets it. Well, right, we'll leave him for now. I want to introduce you to a really exciting part of DMC Boston. This is the lab. This is where we keep the highest voltages in the entire office. Come on, let's take a look. But these wires are incredibly high voltages. Let's go ahead and pick them up. Be very really careful now. We're going to go for a double here. Whoa, whoa, or at least just as afraid of you as they are of me. It's getting one here. Right, right, well, hello. Um, so occasionally, sometimes, when you're in the field, uh, something will take an engineer or a, or a caretaker out of action. So uh, that's a large part of why we have such a great mentorship program. So that if somebody, uh, you know, for example, exsanguinates, Alright, so this is one of our next beautiful specimens here, Lillian Walker. Now, she is another engineer and again, 300 words per minute of sheer code crushing terror. Let's observe. Such focus while hunting. It's amazing. This is really what the marvel of looking at DMC Boston is about. So here, we're gonna show you how to catch a laptop. If we're not fast enough, and we get our hands stuck in there, it's gone like a young chook. The moment I get my hands on this, if I lapse for just a second, I'm gonna. All right, we have him down. Now we gotta be really, really careful, and this is vital. Keep the laptop closed. The moment it opens back up, he's back to coding in a flash. All right, this is also important. He's really starting a death call right now. Once an engineer goes into the deck hole, 
this may be a matter of 15 minutes. We can keep 15 doing minutes this. before we get it back open and coating again. Yeah. All right. Now we're gonna gotta let go. It gotta be really careful. No, you open it in a flash. Try restarting it. All right. So never mind. Never mind. We made it out all right. That's the important thing. If I respect his distance, he'll respect mine. And now we can just back away slowly. We'll be all right. Now remember, never try that at home. I have years of experience and the battle's wounds to show it. But if you try it, I don't want you to get hurt and I don't want these beautiful creatures getting hurt either. So remember, whenever you see one in the wild, call a professional. They'll make sure it gets to where it needs to go, back into his habitat or into Dame Z Boston.